This place needs more trees. That's better. Henry loves nature and especially enjoys protecting it. But sometimes it can be very difficult to protect. You can't catch me! <laughs> I've got a treasure! Aha! Caught you! Ow. Right, there's got to be some Easter eggs people have forgotten about. Try up the top of that tree. Okay. Nope, nothing. Let's try the next tree. Oh no! What's happened to the trees? Nobody seems to care about nature. Hi Henry, how are you today? Not great. The trees have been knocked down. Oh no! The trees have been knocked down. I can help you fix them. I love nature. Thanks Rubble for lifting the trees back again and thank you Rocky for building the fence around them. No problem, but a little later. Where can we find treasure? Well, not over there. That sign says do not enter. Good point. Wait, they could be hiding treasure there and put up the sign so people won't take it. Let's look around. Well, I was wrong. We've been digging for hours and still no sign of treasure. Oh no! They've dug up the plants! We need a new way to scare anybody away. And I think I know a friend that can help. Please, can you help us scare everyone away? I'm sorry, I've been very busy today, but I know somebody that could help you, Ghost Funling. Excellent. Right, just got to stay here and guard the plants. Oh, I'm so bored though. Ooh, what's that delicious smell? I have time for a quick break. That smells delicious! <laughs> we need trees for our next prank! lost more trees. Where's ghost funding? Ah, so you take the food off the grill before it starts to burn. Oh, we'll never be able to protect the trees. <coughs> Hi Henry and Daisy. We feel really bad about knocking down the trees. And ripping them up looking for eggs. I think we should be more careful. We need to stop knocking trees over. We want someone who could help fix the mess we've made. Hello! Oh wow, it's beautiful! 
But how will we be able to protect it? Well, Hulk and I can make sure nobody does any damage. Oh, thank you everyone. We can all protect Mother Nature. <coughs> oh, I love the forest. There's so many trees and animals. It's so peaceful. Hey, look, it's Billy the Bear. Come here, you. Oh. You're not normally this close to the edge of the forest. Yeah, what brings you here, Billy? What's that noise? Pixie Funny, what are you doing? You're chopping all of the trees down. Of course I am. I need the wood to build all the cool things in town. But the animals in the forest live in the trees. Yeah, but we also need the wood for buildings for us to live in. Don't worry, there's loads of trees here. A few missing trees won't make a difference. I guess. What's that noise? Captain Fanning, what are you doing? I need wood to fix my pirate ship. Oh no, everyone's chopping down the forest for wood. Don't worry, there's loads of trees here. A few missing trees won't make a difference. Where are all the animals going to go? I'm going back to my toadstool. Billy, what are you doing here? I've never seen you this close to my toadstool before. Why aren't you over there where you always are? Oh, that's why. Explore Funling, what are you doing? Hello, Daisy. I'm getting more logs to build a new cabin. But we need to save the forest. Don't worry, there's loads of trees here. A few missing trees won't make a difference. But that's what everyone is saying. Why do you have to get trees from here? Because Farmer Funding is getting trees over there. Hello! Daisy and Safari Funding were running out of places to go as they watched the forest slowly disappear, tree by tree. Time for my daily walk. Oh no! Even these trees are being cut down now. Well, I guess I'll spend the morning at the tea room instead. Hello, Chef Funning. Hello, Daisy. I would offer you a table and a chair, but Fix It Funning needs to make me a new one. I think he's getting wood from the forest right now. Oh, not more trees being cut down. Where are all the animals going to go? Ah, a bear! Ah, a bear! Ah, a bear! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! A bear! It must have come from the forest. It shouldn't be allowed in town. Go back to the forest. But it can't go back to the forest. It's all been cut down. Billy, come here, Billy. That's a good bear. Everything's all right. That bear should not be allowed in town. It should not have left the forest. But Mayor Funding, it had to. We're cutting down the forest so quickly, it had nowhere else to go. Hmm. I guess we have been building a lot with wood lately. I have an idea. Trees are so useful. They give us wood, they give us beautiful forests, and they give a whole range of animals a place to live. We can't run out of trees. Therefore, from now on, whenever a funding cuts down one tree, they must plant two new trees. That's a great idea. Did you hear that, Billy? The forest will grow back so quickly. And soon enough, Daisy and Safari Funding were enjoying their forest walks again. Wow, look at all those animals. The forest really is a remarkable place. <laughs> Time to get some well-needed sleep. Wait for... Ooh, ow. Hey, 
Wait up! Where? What was that? Oh well, time for some peace and quiet. McQueen, wait up, McQueen! I'm not as fast as you. Can you hear me? McQueen! Would you please keep it down? Why? Oh, I need something to scare everyone off. Sorry for overhearing you, but I think I can be of some help. Ah, Professor Farnley, do you know how to scare everyone off? Yes, I'll make a large spooky tree. That will scare everyone away, and then you can sleep in peace. <laughs> yes, my tree worked! Thanks, Professor Farnley. I can finally get some sleep. Let's just see if it's scary enough. Oh look, someone's coming! happens with the next guests. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Hello there. Ah. Yes, it worked. The tree spooked the fun lanes. Oh no, it was the big pumpkin behind the silly tree that made us jump. This isn't going very well. Let's try one more guest. Boo! <laughs> Aww, the tree is so cute. No, no, I'm spooky. It's adorable. No, please don't go. Oh, the tree is just not working. We'll have to try something else. No, please don't. I'll get so lonely. Sorry, tree. You're just not spooky enough. So Professor Funling and Vampire Funling took down all of the spooky decorations. And left. What will happen to the tree? Will he get a new job? Comment what you want the tree to do now and find out what happens in part 2. Previously... Yes, I'll make a large spooky tree. That will scare everyone away. And then you can sleep in peace. <laughs> Yes, my tree worked! Thanks, Professor Farnley. I can finally get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly looking tree! <laughs> oh, the tree is just not working. We'll have to try something else. No, please don't. I'll get so lonely. Sorry, Tree, you're just not spooky enough. Oh, I'm bored and so lonely. Ooh, someone's coming. Oinky! Oinky! Where are you, you little pig? Hello? Huh? 
Are you a talking tree? I sure am. But I'm quite lonely and really bored. No one visits me anymore. Hmm, maybe you need a job. Oh, you could be the funny tree. Oh yeah, I guess I could. Go on, tell us a joke. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? It's me. Get it? You know, because the door's made of wood and I'm made of wood. Get it? Maybe you shouldn't be the funny tree. Have you seen my pig? Oh, no, but pigs like mud. So I'd check the mud by the river if I were you. Oh, OK, thank you. <laughs> Come back, Ultron. Do you need any help? Huh? A talking tree? I can help. Because I'm not the funny tree, I'm the superhero tree. Superhero tree? Oh, okay. I'll catch Ultron. Thanks. Boy, Ultron, <laughs> get back here. I'll get you, Ultron. Come here. Uh, almost got ya. Oh. oh. Sorry, I didn't quite catch him. I don't think you're a funny tree or a superhero tree. I wonder how I can stop Ultron myself. Well, he's a robot. So using water will be a good idea. Because water and electricity don't mix. Oh, thank you. Wizard Funling! Hello? Oh, hello. We're looking for Wizard Funly. We want to see a magic trick. Oh, I can show you a magic trick. Because I'm not the funny tree or the superhero tree. I'm a magic tree. Oh, OK. Behold, I can make a tree root appear out of the ground. Right beside you. Ooh, uh, 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 where is it? Ah, well, it might take a few days. I don't think you should be the magic tree either. Have you seen Wizard Funling? Well, he goes for a walk this time every day. So he's probably at Chef Funling's tea room. Ah, great, thank you. I know what you should be. You should be the Tree of Knowledge. Oh, yes. I can see and remember a lot of things. We'll go and spread the word. And soon, the Tree of Knowledge was helping so many people, he was never bored or lonely again.